All right, off to the beach. Where are we? Carabelle Beach. Carabelle Beach, Florida. White sand. White sand, and I've got shoes on. And jeans. Jeans even. Jeans and shoes going to the beach. Definitely from Wisconsin. Yep. <laughs> Supposed to wear foot flops. What? <laughs> seeing the dolphins. Top of St. George Lighthouse. St. George Island, Florida. Here, the not so good things about full-time RV living. When you keep uh, driving in and out of different places, <laughs> sometimes you get infested with uh, ants or other insects. The girls were sitting playing on the ground, kept seeing ants. Here, tons and tons of ants. You can still see them coming in right here. They're crawling in up the stairs on the outside of the camper and crawling in the seal around the door, coming in by the thousands. Tons of them, they just walked right in. Without even saying, and not even knocking Without on even the door. knocking on the door, they just came right on in. <laughs> they are trespassing. Yeah. So, actually, believe it or not, week and a half on the road, two weeks, our first thing that has went wrong, or not so good. I sprayed fog around the outside of the steps and, and then uh, moved the rug from down there because they were underneath the rug, thousands of them out there. What I'll do is I'll go outside, I'll open the door, go outside and flip that up, the steps, and then you can, because it hinges right there, and then you'll be able to like clean underneath the steps quick. Alright, ant, ant infestation. Tate's Hell State Forest. Dwarf Cypress Boardwalk. This serves as a storage area, holding rainwater and slowly releasing it into the bay. Beginning in the 1960s, most of Tate's Hell was ditched and drained to improve the conditions for growing pine trees. The grid work of more than 900 miles of roads and ditches were built throughout the forest. And the water is now quickly flushed away into the bay. <laughs> 